In this video, we are going to get started and acquire data from Prophecy GenX 320 sensor on OpenMV platform. Run examples and demonstrate LED tracking, adjust the sensor settings or biases. As a prerequisite, it will be good to have an OpenMV platform with an interface board for GenX 320 sensor CM2 model and also a Prophecy Active marker or a simple LED. We will go through the following topics. And we will start with an overview of OpenMV platform. OpenMV platform is a small, affordable, point and power machine vision platform. Here we use it with a Gen X320 sensor. Now we have OpenMV RT1062 platform with Gen X320 sensor in a 3D printed casing. We are going to connect it and open one of the provided examples. We have few basic examples that come together with the installed firmware. Let's start with the simplest one, that is GenX320 Grayscale. In this example, we initialize the sensor and acquire data in a loop. The data will be shown in this display. We start the example and we see myself moving and my waving hand. In this example, there is no data processing, only visualization. We are going to look for more complex examples like this one with tracking. Here uh, we are detecting moving blobs and we show them as rectangles with a cross in the center. Let's run the example and we see it tracks my moving hand. We can also create other examples in a similar manner. We did a custom one for LED tracking it is based on the tracking example and we additionally use IOCTL for adjusting the sensor settings or biases. We apply a set of biases pre-tuned for detection of prophecy active marker with high contrast and high frequency LEDs. These biases allows us to see only LEDs and no other changes in the scene. The rest of the example is very similar to the previous one. We detect moving blobs of small size and we show them on the screen with rectangles. Let's start the example at first with the default sensor biases. We also power on and start our active marker. The active marker has 8 LEDs blinking with unique pattern. However, in this example, we simply detect and track LEDs without differentiating them. When using the default sensor biases, we see many things like LEDs, my hand and myself moving. Now, we are going to apply the sensor biases that are pre-tuned for this active marker. And as a result, we see only LEDs and no other changes in the scene. It allows us to achieve robust LEDs detection and tracking. For example, here we get about 87 FPS rate. The final rate will depend on several things like sensor configuration and settings, biases, motion speed, amount of data and processing. Now we are going to switch from the active marker to a simple LED that we are going to track. Once again, in this example, the sensor is tuned to detect only the LEDs and no other changes in the scene. Here it tracks our LEDs and we get about 114 FPS rate. We can also move the LED further away until we keep seeing at least 3 pixels per LED. In this video, we have seen how to get started with an OpenMV platform and GenX320 sensor, how to acquire data, how to run examples including LED tracking, how to adjust the sensor settings or biases. We have learned that several ready-to-run examples are already available for the GenX320 sensor. The sensor can be tuned for a particular application through the IOCTL bias settings. More details can be found in documentation or on OpenMV GitHub. Thank you for watching and see you soon.